just listening to some of the discussions this morning, it's just so clear that agriculture plays a very important role in the South African economy. Not just from a GDP growth point of view, but also from making a difference in communities, especially rural communities, where it's often needed, where people often don't have hope. And agriculture creates the economic growth and also the, the, the jobs that's required to lift people in those communities. So it's really important for us to be part of this discussion, to play a role within what AgriSA has managed to do over the last 120 years and to make a contribution. Well, there's no question that farming is evolving very quickly. Things are changing. Um, farmers are facing lots of challenges already today, but if I look into the crystal ball for the future, it's just gonna become more complex. And it's gonna be driven by things like global warming, um, access to finance, changing consumer behaviors. And there's no ways that farmers will be able to deal with this unless they embrace technology, information-based, decision-making, artificial intelligence, precision farming will become more and more important. So in terms of the farmer of the future, they will have to not only be tech savvy, but they have to be a lot more agile. They'll have to produce what is required from a food security point of view, economically, but also sustainably. And in order to do that, they will need the support of the entire value chain. So government, uh, agri-organizations, farmers themselves, input suppliers, financiers will all have to be aligned to help make this change. And for us as a business, that's exactly where we come in as well, to provide farmers with practical solutions. We often say we don't want to bl blow sunshine up your silo. We bring solutions that's tailor-made for the farmer that will make a difference at farm level, making more productive, making more economically viable and hopefully do that in a sustainable fashion. You have to collaborate. There's no other way of achieving what needs to be required. So we have to collaborate in order to create the future of, of agriculture. And for that we need strong leadership and leaders need to, need to be able to look beyond the year and now and the challenges right now, but look into the future and plan because if we don't plan and we don't have a good idea of what the future holds, we will fail. So it's all around being connected, everyone playing their role, um, not having big egos, and actually making sure that we bring sustainable, practical solutions at farm level that can help farmers be successful. But as a practical example, our agronomist will go to a farmer, analyze his soil, look at his yield data over the last few years, identify what the, the, the most limiting factor is on his farm and then make recommendations to fix that. Whether that is in terms of his practices, whether it's nutrition, whether it's his spray program, but actually sitting with the farmer and, and planning for what's required in order to, to move to the next level, to get that uptick in, in uh, productivity. It's really important that we realize that we can't do this alone. We can't just leave it to farmers. So as the entire value chain, we have a role to play. And it's important that we contribute, that we, that we, that we make the difference that is required, that we bring technology where it, where it can make a difference. But that we don't introduce technology just for the sake of technology. So we really want to be practical. We want to make sure that we improve productivity at a farm level and that we get alignment across the value chain to do that.